he gone again <laughs> excuse the wig y'all i'm doing a show so we gotta we gotta do two shows today but anyway he gone again what happened this time that's your face y'all give me a headache <laughs> He actually commented on my channel. I don't know why I didn't screenshot him saying he's he said something about it's good to be back, sis. He commented on my video when I said I told you he would be back. I told you he would be back. And he's gone again. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm I'm just like, what is this merry-go-round? And then, you know. I, I I appreciate. Hopefully this phone this phone stay still. Stay still, phone. <laughs> I appreciate you know the push to do these videos, but at some point you know you don't want to feel that um, people are playing games. You know you don't want to feel that way. I don't feel like he's playing games like that. I feel like he's he's pretty cool. You know he seemed to be sincere in his video about his wife up uh, his ex wife's update and. You know how he's new and he didn't know no better you know i don't know it's like the man just started to re start his channel again he had to rename it he had to put a the in front of it, the dasher faith because when he said when he tried to come back to start again um all of the channel names were taken so he had to put the letters t-h-e in the end in the in the beginning i'm sorry i'm so tired y'all <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. But anyway, yes, he's gone again. Gone again. I know my phone is telling me it's too dark. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm like, what happened? It's like, I'm not going to lie. I have two channels. I have this one and I have my review channel. And I'm really, really thinking about putting this like hiding this one for a little bit and just focusing on my review channel because my review channel is really really doing well it's growing it's getting the reviews and it, i'm lo i love doing reviews <laughs> i really do i really do love it getting reviews and i feel like doing this um i say we need to keep posting again i i'm not stopping the posting but i feel like um finding things to talk about nobody's talking about it you know it's like the things that interest me you know it doesn't really matter so i'm like i just might just hide this channel and just focus on my review channel because i can be animated i can cuss i can give my opinion about the shows that i'm watching um i take notes i, I mean i go details about what i like and what i didn't like and i make it as humanly connected as I can, although, you know, it's fiction, but it's fun. And, um, I don't know. This is, people are getting attention and it's either, you either con too, too controversial. You doing 50 hour lives, uh, or, you know, you have more than one channel and then one of the channels gets shut down and then you get monetized extremely quick. I'm like, what is the game? Maybe I'm not learning the lessons. It's like the lessons that people are doing are doing on here. It's just not making sense to me. It's not making sense <laughs> to me. I'm not, and I'm not trying to get rid of the channel so I can get all these attention. Like, oh, look, where's the SBN auntie? We miss her. That's not that what it's about. It's about what you enjoy. Like, doing things on youtube is about what you enjoy the most it really is it has you can encourage but there's but so much encouraging you can do you can bash and trash another youtuber but there's but so much of that you can do but when it comes to different shows different books different um things reviews and reactions never get old they never do and getting the eyes of entertainment is probably more realistic when you because people write these shows they put them out there and they want they want the audience to make sure that they take t take a look at it and they want the opinion that doesn't mean that they're going to change the script but it's good to know what the fans are thinking about their show and about their writing and um i really do enjoy it and again i'm an actress 
if I can get somebody to, to discover me, then I'm going to do it. But, um, you know, this channel, I've, I've become, you know, transparent with a lot of areas of my life. And I put questions out there because sometimes I just don't understand it all. And sometimes I want people to respond. You don't get shit. It's like nobody says nothing. And I'm like, what to do? I get more traction and action on my reactions channel because a lot of those people are coming from um, TikTok. Because I, I post my videos, I edit my videos into shorts over there at TikTok. And so people over at TikTok, if they want to see the full review of a show that I've done, they come over and watch it. And I get more more views. You have to have passion for this. You really have to have drive. And you have to really feel like you're offering something to the public. I'm still good at doing remote work. I'm still good at been a resource. I'm really great at that. But that's work too. So I said all I had to say. I don't know. I, look, I might do a dash of faith. <laughs> Disappear on y'all asses. No, I'm just kidding. But if I do, it's just to hide this channel for a little bit so I can, you know, put all my energies into my um, reactions and review channel because I really do like that. I, I, I look forward to doing it. I've looked forward to doing my reactions channel, taking notes. I found a really great way to not have to write notes down. Just go to chat GPT, say chat GPT, break down this episode for me. And then I just put my little sauce on it and that's it. I don't have to do a lot of note taking and everything like that. I still look at the show because there might be some nuggets that chat GPT doesn't pick up, but I asked chat GPT to, to, to tell me what I need to say. And it tells me, it gives me notes but there's, it doesn't give me like script. It doesn't break down the script. So if there's something that Niecy Nash said on Grotesquery that I know that's not in the notes, I still watch the show so that I can get, give my own honest review about it. And I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. I don't, I don't know if I enjoy this, this side. I don't, I don't know. Um, the support is there for each other. You know, we do support, but. I don't know. It's just that it, this YouTube thing, if you don't have a niche or something, it's gotten so brutal. I, I thought the just posting, the keep posting and um, just be yourself, come on camera, look in any kind of way worked. But it's so many games. I'm like, what if at the end of this, we find out that everybody knew where everybody was in bed with everybody else and all of this was just a big old joke. <laughs> What if we find out that they all been fooling with us all this whole entire time? You know, what if we find out that they've been buying subscribers just to make it look like that they have got all this influx of people showing up? And now if you can, if I can do it, you can do it too. Shit, I can do that, you know, buy people and tell them, look how what happened and do my surprise pictures. I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. That's why I just want to focus on reactions. Then I don't have to worry about trying to prove myself to anybody about whether this works or not. I could just show up, focus on my show, talk about it, and then cut the cut the camera off and keep it moving. I don't know. I need to be back in here in a minute. Let me see what time it is. Come on, Carl. I don't want to be late. Okay, now I'll turn it off. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, are they playing games with us? Are they... Okay, I got 10 minutes. Are they playing games with us? Are they like, you know, playing... <laughs> Hide and seek? I don't know. It's like, you know, this man really had a huge fan base. And like, why is he not able to keep his channel it just doesn't make any sense and the hater it's like even talking about the election can can bring haters it's like man i just want to be able to talk about a show and then get off <laughs> i don't want to be dealing with no damn haters you know i want to be able to just talk about a show take my notes be funny and then get get off the camera you know 
So, but we are going to be okay. We are going to be okay. It's going to be a, a journey. None of us knows exactly what's going to happen, but it's definitely a change is coming. Whether it's winter is coming or a big chill is coming, but some stuff is definitely coming. It definitely is. Well, that's all. I mean, let me get ready to go in here. I got to get ready for this second show. My man is coming tonight, so I'm going to really show out. And I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I know you're like that's too much, but yeah, I'm I'm like wondering like what what is this all about? What is the hide and seek about? Why? Who's telling the truth on here? Everybody's lying. <laughs> Everybody's fake. Even his hair I got on is fake. <laughs> oh my god, my hair is okay under here. I, yeah. Mm, fix it <laughs> look if this would get a whole viral moment which i doubt it but it's just man oh yeah yeah dash your face baby you snatching wigs honey <laughs> oh my god let me get on in here and, and get ready for show number two and have a ball and um y'all keep posting but i suggest that you pick a niche and stick to that whether it's you know, encouraging people and giving people resources on how they can better their lives or do reviews or pick a niche, pick a specific niche. Because if you're an encourager, if you are, you know, pick to that and be great at it because you're adding value to people's lives. And whether that value doesn't necessarily have to be monetary, it's just, it might just be laughter because we need laughter. We need good news. It's not been good. And so, yeah. All right, bye. <laughs>